Hello, hello and welcome to my channel. Today it's about my spacers, which I recently bought in an online shop and have already presented. There's also another video. Um, today I will use them to create an album and also I will try a new paste from Stamperia. The name of the paste is uh, Volume Paste. And these are the tools which I want to use for my album. And these tools are rather new for me. And you can also see my free signatures and I want to have all these signatures in my album. Yeah, but first of all, I have to make the cover and I have something to do on my own. Excuse me, please, I have to admit that I wasn't able to film and put my tape at the same time. The camera was a little bit in the way and the tape is a bit tricky. If it sticks, then it sticks. <laughs> I don't have a chance to correct that. But I'll explain briefly that I put the tea piece between the front cover and the spine of the book. Then I fixed it a little bit with a tape and then glued it properly. And this tool was really helpful to find the right gap for my binding. And now you can see what I can open and close my album and I have no problems and everything is in the right position. The gap is just the right size and you can open and close the cover with ease. The tape holds everything together very well and will last for a while, I think. I'm back now. I glued the paper to the cover with a glue from Funkelgram. It is a junk journal glue. Uh, there are some spots here and some wrinkles, but uh, yeah, some spots are a little bit bumpy. But that doesn't matter because something is happening to the paper and the cover here too. As you can see, I fold my paper. I will now show you my corner tool and explain how I measure the corner. Uh, the tool gives a little allowance at the corner and I draw a line with a pencil. At which point I will then shorten the paper. Here. So. It all goes away. The side parts are cut off and I prepare that all and then I will back soon. So I have now shortened the corners. You can see the small distance to the corner. This is the case everywhere. I also cut the paper on the sides shorter. I'm, ga I'm going to take my glue and fold that up and glue it in place. I will fold the corners neatly so that the cardboard is protected and covered. I'll do the gluing off camera because I want to use liquid glue and I'll probably make a little mess. It is important to me that you can see that everything is well glued. The glue isn't really dry. <clears throat> the corners are very important. They are well locked, the paper is folded correctly and the cardboard doesn't uh, stick out of the corners. Yeah, and the tool is really helpful for finding the right distance to the corner. Eigentlich soweit fertig. Und das ist eine einfache Methode und mir hat das jetzt wirklich geholfen. Und auch dieses hier. Also das sind jetzt eigentlich meine beiden wichtigsten Werkzeuge für diese Art von Bindung. It's done now. The two tools help me a lot with the binding. In the meantime, I also glued the inside. 
the paper has become damp from the glue and it still needs to dry properly. But as you can see, the cover can be moved wonderfully. It can be folded, closed and the distances are correct. So far, it has turned out really well in my opinion. I'll let it dry now and then I will paint it white. And for my front cover, I will use this white gesso. Yeah, and it is also a white gesso and it is nearly the same color than the deco paint. Now I want to use this huge stamp uh, made from uh, or made by Stamperia. This is a very huge uh, stamp. Um, it is the Sir Vagabond set and I made this print. Yeah, it is something like a print. It is not perfect, I know, but that is really okay for me because it is a junk journal and I want it like this. It is um, something I want to cover and you will not see very much of it. And now I will use the volume paste and it is the first time I will use this paste. And I have a stencil by 13 Arts and it is a very beautiful stencil with a nice writing. And I want to have a little bit of structure on my front cover. And yeah, what I will do next, you will see in my video. <music>
this volume paste is very easy to use on a stencil. It's easy to pass up. The consistency is a bit firmer than modeling paste, but not tough. And I really like it.
this paste works really well. It is easy to use and I hope I will be happy later on when I'll cover the, uh, the, the volume paste and also the cover itself with um, a paint and yeah, I hope it works. Yeah, by the way, this is also a stencil by 13 Arts and yeah, it is again a writing and I like to use different stencils and also different um, yeah, fonts or different writings and I hope that will have a great effect. Yeah, and of course I know everything has to dry very well and later on I can see what I will do with my cover, with my paint and yeah, which I want to use, which paint. Yeah, as you could see, I used different distress oxide sprays and yeah, I must say the result is okay, but it is too light in my eyes and I will change it later on um, very much. And now I wanted to fix my 
um, yeah, my result with a varnish, but I don't know if it is a good idea and you can see what I will do later on. I think I um, had not to try this and it is an experiment and yeah, you can see what I will do next. From Stamperia I use now a patina and it is the rust color and I use now a glove because I don't want to have a paint on my finger. Now I use a baby wipe and try to wipe the patina off again and I only want to have the rust effect in the gaps but I can say it now I didn't like the complete rust effect on my paper and I will change the look <music> to be honest I wasn't too keen on the rusty effect on my cover. I had a different picture of my cover in my head and so I wiped away a lot of that color. I often change my mind and it is always a journey for me to make an album and it's always an experiment for me. I painted my cover off camera because I was very unlucky with my first result and I wanted to have other colors and different effects. And yeah, now I can show you what I have um, made now. And this is now not the final result, but I like it how it is. Sometimes you struggle with the things you create. And I have to admit that I didn't like the rusty patina color. 
and yeah, when I had to wipe it off again. I've totally changed the look now. Now, of course, you can ask yourself why I put so much effort into coloring beforehand. It is what it is and I've gone for other colors and I like it a lot better now. Not much of a stamp can be seen either. Only a hint can be seen. The patina can only be seen shimmering through on a few steels. In the background I used white gesso and used also Nouveau Aqua Marker in yellow. And here I show you now that I have still a little effect of a patina. And here also. And yeah, here is the gesso and the yellow Nouveau Aqua Marker. And in the right corner, I used an acrylic paint. And yeah, I think overall I like the cover better now. It's not finished yet. I'll have to see if I can find some time to finish it. It is still not decorated and it also gets an inner working, I think. The background to the whole affair is that I wanted to create a cover especially for the signatures that I made and the color of the cover, I hope it fits now much better to my signatures. Uh, the first page is very light and also the back side of the cover is lighter. And here you can see now my signatures and when you see the first page of my signature I think you see the harmony between the signature and also the front cover of my album. The rust color of the patina is very good and I recommend it but it's not for this project. It was just a try and I will look uh, and it will look fantastic on a steampunk cover for sure. By the way, the volume paste is really good and it works well. You can also heat it with a heating tool and there are no bubbles. I think it is useful. Yeah, and in the meantime, I was very dissatisfied with my cover and would have liked to give it up. But in the meantime, I had put so much work into it and that I didn't want to give up either. And now I'm happy again and satisfied with my result. And as I said, it is not finished yet and I will keep working on it. I hope there was something interesting for you and it will definitely continue with this album. I can't say when. If you don't want to miss anything, subscribe please to my channel and write me a comment. And I really appreciate that. And I will answer as soon as possible. If you would like the video, that would be great. And I wish you a wonderful and creative day. And I say bye for now. Mm -hmm.